Good morning everyone! Today's lesson will be slightly different since due to some unforeseen problems with the system I will not be using Google Forms. Instead, please download the transcript and answer the quiz questions at the end of each section by creating a new Google Docs, you should know how to do it by now I hope, and then submit it and send it to me. Okay? Please let me know if you have any problems, as always. Now, on to today's topic. Today uh, we are going to talk about apartheid, uh, which is a system of racial segregation. We studied something similar already. That was the normality in South Africa until very recently, until 1994. Now, in our next lesson, we will discuss how the system was destroyed. Also, thanks to important people like Nelson Mandela. But today we will try to understand what it was and what were its historical causes. In particular, we will look at the following points. What does apartheid mean? When and where did it happen? Who benefited from it? And eventually we'll give you a model answer at the end. So, what does apartheid mean? Apartheid was a, reg a regime of racial segregation in the country of South Africa. Its literal meaning was separateness, and it meant that the white minority, which constituted only 9% of the population, prevented the rest of the non-white population from accessing basic rights, such as education, the right to own a kind of property, or have relationship with someone who was not the racial group. Uh, I think the, the actor Trevor Noah, for example, is South African. He was born before a, Apartheid was over, his mother was black and his father was white, or the other way around, and technically it did not have the right to exist, because he was the product of a marriage between an African black person and a white person. So, these sort of things. For, they could not even celebrate their own birthday, because it was illegal for black people to gather around and uh, have uh, gatherings in groups that might be deemed uh, dangerous by the police. The police did not have any rules for that, they just decided on their own accord. The situation is summarized very well, I think, by uh, posters, like the one you will find in the transcript, which were put in every street corner around the 1970s. They said things like, uh, uh, no African may buy land or own property anywhere in the Republic. Under no circumsta circumstances may a non-white person use facilities set, set aside for white person. No white man may teach an African servant, because according to their mindset, Africans were all servants, may teach African servants how to read. And uh, no African may attend a birthday party if the number attending could make the gathering undesirable. There was all these sorts of restrictions and many more. And uh, the fine for disobeying these laws was being imprisoned, fined, or even whipped. Okay? Now, when and where did it happen? Apartheid was enforced between 1948 and 1994. The system had its origins in the European colonial, uh, colonization of the area, which, which started in the 17th century. Around 1650, uh, the Dutch merchants, people from the Netherlands, set up a trading post on the Cape of Good Hope, uh, the southernmost tip of the African continent, founding what would later become Cape Town. Local Af the local African population had been uh, living there for millennia, essentially since the beginning of humanity. Humans were born in Africa, slightly to the north in Kenya, but uh, quickly expanded southwards to South Africa. At the time, however, they were technologically very behind the Europeans who had guns and steel and all sorts of other technologies which the Africans did not have at the time. And when the Dutch arrived, they were the Africans were often uh, immediately defeated militarily and then used as slaves. Now, the Dutch, by, uh, who were by now calling themselves Boers, B-O-E-R, uh, not boars like the animal, were, were then attacked by the British, who were trying to create a huge colonial empire that spanned the entire world. Between uh, 1835 and 1902, the British and the Boers uh, fought a series of war, and eventually the British won. 
These wars were caused mostly by the discovery of gold and diamonds in the area, and during this period the black African population was still used for slave labor and was not given any rights. In 1948, uh, South Africa finally became independent after the war, after sending soldiers to help uh, Britain during the war, and this was when the real apartheid began. The population was divided into several different groups based on their ethnic and racial origins. There were white people, mixed, uh, the technical term at the time was colored, black Africans, Indians, and so on. Each group, except for the whites, had some restrictions, and the black uh, Africans lost the citizenship. They could not vote, they were not considered, uh, not even uh, equal to the others. You remember when we talked about the Jim Crow laws, when we were doing uh, uh, segregation in America, the reasoning behind the Jim Crow laws was to make the black Americans separate but equal, at least in theory. It was not true, of course, that they were equal, but that was the justification they gave. In South Africa, they didn't even try that. They didn't even say we're separate but equal. They said we're separate, the whites are better, the blacks are worse, and the four do not deserve any sort of right. After a while, uh, the blacks were even forcibly removed from the lands, the lands where they had lived for generations, for millennia, okay? And they were locked into so-called Bantustans, because they, they were named Bantustans from the name of one of the main African groups there, which were the Bantus, and from the suffix stan, which means region of. Uh, there are several states, several countries like Pakistan, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan. The stan part is uh, Persian and means the land of. So the Bantustans were the lands of the Bantus and were this special area in which black, black people were taken and they were forced to live there. Okay. Meanwhile, the land that they were forced to abandon was sold cheaply to rich white farmers. So, who did, uh, who benefited from this unequal, cruel and terrible system? Now, the apartheid system clearly benefited the white minority of the population. This is clear. Black Africans were prevented from getting an education, and even if they did, somehow, they were still not allowed to have any important jobs. They were relegated, they were forced to be servants and do manual labors, and they did not have any hope of social mobility, and they were treated like garbage by the white majority of the population. The land was effectively stolen and given away to the whites, while they were forced to live in conditions of extreme poverty and in very crowded areas that were not able to sustain them, to give them enough food and shelter and everything, in those so-called Bantustans. Now, so those, this was a general outline, those were the facts. Now I would like you to send me the answer to the final question. What is ap uh, apartheid? You have to write first, what is apartheid? Then you have to explain its historical causes and finally tell me who benefited from it and why. Okay? So, I am looking forward to reading your answers and see you next time.